in the kitchen this morning, a dish that oozes comfort. <laughs> Today's recipe is in honor of anyone who made a New Year's resolution to eat better, well, and has already tripped up. You know who you are. <laughs> Chef Becky says, go easy on yourself and take comfort with the king and queen of comfort, pasta and cheese. Today I'm gonna teach you an awesome recipe that my clients love. It's my Tillamook mac and cheese. If you're gonna be falling off the wagon, you might as well just dive in. So here I have six quarts of boiling water. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of salt, and that will help keep the pasta from sticking to itself. Here I'm adding two pounds of elbow macaroni. And I give it a good stir right away so it doesn't all clump together on the bottom. And we'll bring it back to a boil. So now the pasta has returned to a boil, so I can set the timer for 10 minutes. So here I have four cups of half and half that I'll just heat up. It doesn't need to boil. You will want to stir this recipe several times throughout the cooking so it doesn't stick to the bottom. One pointer for this recipe is having all of your ingredients prepped in advance before you boil your macaroni. Here I have four cups of Tillamook extra sharp cheddar cheese and you grate it yourself. Do not buy the pre-shredded cheese. Here I have two cups of Velveeta cheese that I've cubed, two sticks of melted butter, and at the end, I'll add a teaspoon of Johnny's seasoning salt. It has salt, sugar, soy sauce, and garlic powder in it. Really brings out the flavor of the cheese in this recipe. That feels about done now. So now the pasta is ready to drain. So now I'm gonna shake the excess water from the pasta. And then I'm gonna add it back to the pot. Now, in some recipes, you would rinse the pasta, but not in this case. I'm going to start by adding two sticks of melted butter. And I like to stir it after adding each ingredient. All these cheeses are at room temperature, and that will help the recipe come together quickly. Now it's time to add the Tillamook extra sharp cheddar. There's just a little bit of cheese in this recipe. Being sure to scrape the bottom of the pan to get all of the noodles coated with the cheese. Now it's time to return it to the stove top. I'm gonna turn the heat back on now to low. And in this saucepan, I have my four cups of half and half that have been heating on low. So whenever you heat milk, a skin forms over the top. So I'm going to remove that. Now it's time to add the half and half to the macaroni and cheese. Now we're just melting all the cheese together. And the last thing I'm going to add is the seasoned salt. So here's our mac and cheese. All the cheese has melted and it's smooth. This recipe is a comfort food classic. It's also freezer friendly and kids love it. Today, I taught you how to make my famous Tillamook mac and cheese. It's ultra rich, creamy, and delicious. It's a comfort classic that you'll find yourself making for your family for years. So when you saw her scoop it into the bowls, it's still kind of thin. Right. Give it 10 minutes to just sit there. It is so thick and creamy and gooey and oh my goodness, so wonderful. I mean, how can it not be wonderful? You have right. cheese, cheese and more cheese, and butter, butter and half and half. I mean, what's not good about that? So the kids, I made it for the kids. They loved it. But this would be really good to take to a Super Bowl party oh, this weekend. Oh, yum. Don't even worry about the calories. It's just so, you no, know, don't, just you can't. You don't just have to think eat about it. the calories. Just no. eat it and enjoy. <laughs>